So what we're going to do is mostly in the first 15 minutes is a lot of stuff on uh, receiver spots on penetration. So I'll be getting to different floor spots when the basketball's penetrated. Okay, so one, it needs to be done at game pace, and two, there needs to be some stuff about communication. So I need um, a line up here with the ball. I'll grab two balls, get a line starting down the baseline, and a line at the 45 over there. So from here, three prong thing, you're going to come in, hit the block. So plan inside foot on the block, lead out outside hand. So get a good angle outside hand. You're going to throw it, catch outside hand. We're going to go with the throw down dribble. So if we catch it outside hand, catch, throw down across our body. All right, so it's not a rip through, it's catch, throw down. I've got, for you guys, it's one bounce and toes on the charge zone circle. All right, for maybe you it's two bounces. You've got to be explosive and quick. You're driving to score with your eyes up. As I drive and put the ball on the floor, you're getting to the drift spot, so that's right in the corner. So as soon as we see somebody penetrate baseline, we're getting to the drift spot, and you're calling drift. All right, so that's your call. As soon as they put it to the floor, you're drift. My job is to be able to hit them in the chest and with their hands, and you're giving me a target ready to catch and shoot. Now, you need to be in your shooting range. So if you're a three-point shooter, shoot the three. If you're a two, get to the two and get to the corner spot. All right, so it's out here through the block, outside hand catch, throw down dribble, cross, one bounce, you want to be trying to get in there, call drift and shot. Okay, you'll rotate line, so you're going to there, you're going up to the top. So you need to be game pace, I want to see you get there in one bounce. All right, you're gonna call drift, passing stance here, where you go. Good, shot, next group, here you go. So lead, outside hand catch, rip, one bounce, good. Throw down. Good, throw down. So call, hold there. I need to hear you, hold there. Hold, stop, stop. I need to hear that loud and clear, drift. So this person, you got the ball out here. You've blown by me, you need to have your head up. They need to know that you're in the corner. So they need to know every time that they drive baseline, someone's in the drift spot. So you need to call out that loud and clear. All right, here you go, go again. So outside hand, throw down, one bounce. So get toes on charge zone circle. Here you go, next one, next one. Get right into here. Right, toes on the charge zone circle. Hold there, hold there, go back, go back. I want you to be really explosive and get your toes in here. First thing, you're driving to score. Don't drive to pass, drive to score. Away you go. So throw down, good. Good. Good, call out loud, here you go, next one. Throw down, good. Good, two more. Good, one, two, good. Drive hard to score, last one. Oy. Hold there. Good. So now, on any baseline penetration, we're always filling the drift spot. Ball is up here. Same thing now. You'll make the lead out. There, throw it. One hard bounce. Your toes are on the charge zone circle. As they go, you're getting to the drift spot. You're getting to the diagonal, which is through the elbow, diagonally opposite the ball. So your thing is still you're driving to score. Now I want you to throw it drift, there, then you're throwing it to the diagonal spot, and then you know you got the shot. Same thing if you're a three-point shooter, while he's got the ball, I'm toes behind the line. As he comes to it, I'm stepping into my shot. All right, if you're not a three-point shooter, step in and get to the elbow spot. But as soon as they put the ball to the floor, you're calling drift, you're calling what? Diagonal, diagonal, ready? Here you go. Hard lead. Catch, blow by, go. Good. Call diagonal, next one. Got to call it out loud. Catch, go. Good. Here you go. So go. Lead, catch, go. Kick it. Good. 
Good, good job. Catch it, throw down. So get your toes on the charge zone circle, drive to score. Go. Good. Oh, keep the ball in bounds. Remember, you're throwing it. You're in the drift spot. Hands are ready, you're in the diagonal. Hands ready to catch and shoot. Good, last one. Here you go. All right, now hold it there. Uh, let's get me ball still there, there and there. Get me two defenders. So you get me two people on D. One at the high spot, one low. So you're in. So now we play at three on two. So you come in and make your lead. So make your lead. Throw it. You gotta come and close him out. You guys are just playing, all right? So you gotta play two. Okay. Yep, close out, drift, drive, baseline. So drive baseline. Drive baseline. Now, hold there. You gotta still get to the diagonal spot. So you can now pass it to diagonal and they might have the shot so you can go diagonal to drift. If you're wide open, you've got the shot. You see, you're trying to get it to the person that's open. So that might be a, so if you're playing two just there and you throw it out to there. So you throw it there, hold right there. Just come back a second, you're too quick for me. That might be a good shot. Right now, that's a good shot. If you get there quickly, that's no longer a good shot, but that's a great shot. All right, so get the great shot, not the good shot. So that's wide open. So what I talk about is a great shot. A great shot is wide open. That's good, that's great. So you want to get a great shot on offense. You guys are just scrambling on defense, okay? I don't mind whether you guard the ball, guard the corner, or rotate out here, okay? You got to scramble. Call and drift, call and diagonal. Ready, here you go. The catch drive. Shot, good. Next group, so three from the offensive team, go D. So two people, hold there. Two people that went in on offense, go defense. Lead out. Ready, go, lead, lead, catch and go. Catch and go, drive. Good, good. Right, there you go. Now, number one thing, you drive in here, get inside the paint, you get this, you're going to score. So if you get a layup, that negates throwing it out to there. This one's higher percentage than shooting it out there. So if you drive by the defender, get two, pe two people in there, go to score a layup. Two people out of offense in D, quick. Let's go. Drive. Good. Start. Now, it's okay. If you're open, you can shoot the first one. All right? You just got to get a quicker release. Ready? And sprint opposite. Sprint, 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 go. Hold there, go back again. So go back to here. So ball got driven. So back to here, replay, you gone. Yep, throw it now, where you did, right there. He's committed, you gotta keep your space and be ready to shoot it. All right, so you're behind the three point line and it's gotta be like a touch pass. If you know you haven't got a shot, it's gotta get there quickly. So if I've got the ball, I know I haven't got it, it's gotta be straight there quick. All right, don't hesitate to look, just get it and go there, all right? One more, one more possession. Okay, thanks. All right, hold it there. So keep the defense out. Ball still at the top. Ball still at the top, defense is out. Defense is out. So keep the line, move that line. Defense is out, hold there, defense out. Defense is out. No, not now, we're going back on zero. So make your lead here. So now, hold right there. Come back, you're too quick again. So now, you haven't been able to go baseline. They've taken the baseline away. You've driven on me too many times, baseline. Now, hold up. So I'm taking away the baseline. So now you're going through the middle on penetration. Same thing, two dribbles. You wanna get your toes on the charge zone circle. That's where you're going to score. So you've got two dribbles from the 45 to get two feet on the charge zone circle. Same thing, get to diagonal, get to there. 
So now you're driving middle. You can flick it there and there. You can flick it there and then you can go there. All right, you get three possessions, then we'll put defense on it. Ready? So make your lead, it's driving through the elbow now. So defense is taken away baseline, go. One, two, kick, kick. Yeah, we need to be able to catch the ball. Here you go. Call, drift diagonal. Yep, go from there. Good, go. Two, kick, kick. Next group. Next one. Catch, good, go. One more. Good. So that's your floor spots, whether you go baseline or whether you go middle. Now, shift uh, this line over, uh, get half the people over there. Half still here. Half still here. You're in the low block. Yep. You're going to make the lead out. So lead out, so hit, lead out, outside hand catch. Now, post is opposite, so you're opposite. You're the postman opposite the ball. So you're facing the ball off the block, hands ready. So now you drive baseline. I'm going to leave because if I'm defending you, I'm going to be low help. So go back over there for me for a second. I'm going to be low help. So they drive baseline. You want to be getting to the tip of the charge zone circle called a dunker spot. So you drive your choice. If you're throwing it to a big, it might be a lob pass. It might be a pocket pass on the bounce. Two choices, lob or a little bounce pass through. You've got to be able to catch it here. So if I'm defending you both, your toes are to the sideline, right there. You, toes to the sideline right there. You make the pass, you're gonna go left hand hook. All right, because you don't want to face up. If you face up, no, uh, yep, that's what you want to go to. But if you face up and square your shoulders up, I block that out of there, yep. Leader in blocks, yep. There you go, so that's the deal. So you're going from there, Top of the circle, dunker, you're calling dunker spot, finish and play. Ready? So start off the charge zone, here you go. You're gonna call dunker, here you go. Lead, lead, go, rip it, rip it, go, go, dunker. Good, finish, good, next group, go. Dunker, dunker. good, finish. Next Ball. one, you're up. Catch it, dunker. Hey, you gotta call it. Next time I don't hear it, everyone's got five push-ups. Call Dunker. Hold there, hold there, hold there. Everyone's got to be ready. I'm going to be sleeping on the sideline. Yep, right here. Rip it. Dunker. Good. Last one. Catch. Dunker. Wait till he goes. Hold up, go there. You don't know that he's going to drive. All right, so you've got to wait till he puts it on the floor to go. Go through it again. There. Now go. Good, dunker, finish. All right, so now bring the post side this side. So to bring that line, be in the ball side post. So just one person, so everyone out. So one person in the block here. Everyone out on the baseline. You're coming in, make the lead. So make the lead, yep, whoever's in. Make the lead, so post target, so chest to the ball. So chest to the ball, like right here. Toes above the block, right there. Now you drive baseline. So we're ball side on the post. Now we're driving baseline, you're on offense, you're getting a post target. Your footwork is, go back out, post target here. He drives baseline. I'm getting a bailout, so I'm circling in behind to get this shot, so I'm replacing him. Footwork on this, I drive baseline, you fill around. My defender's on the top, stop, reverse, pivot, throw that and you got the shot. So I'm driving to get same thing. Toes on the charge zone circle. Two foot stop. They're back around. Stop, pivot, shot and go. Yep. So you're calling bailout. So you're bailing out in behind. So you go. Post target. So post target. Post, post. Good. Go bailout. Good. Reverse pivot. Pass it. Shot. Good. Next three in. Post target. Lead. Go. Lead. Lead. Post. Good. Drive it. There. Pivot. Good. Pass. Maybe not a bounce pass. Yep. Here you go. Drive to score. Drive to score. Catch, rip, drive to score. Bail out. Uh, come back again. Come back again. Come back. You got the ball. This is why you're not going to throw it that way. All right, you've got the ball out here. Kick it. 
there. Mate, you've beaten me baseline because I'm playing. Now hold there, you make the pass that you did, I'm going to steal it. Okay, so you need to stop, reverse pivot there and throw that. Okay, next lot of three. Here you go. Go, last one. Good, post, post, drive it, bail out. Good, done, finish. All right, so on any penetration, baseline or middle, what spots have you got? What are the two spots? Drift diagonal, yep. When, the, when they drive at the post, when they drive in the post opposites, what's the spot? Dunk a spot, they drive on the post side, what do you got? Bail out, bail out, bail out. All right, so four on four, two guards, two wings, let's go. So now we're working on shell drill. Number one thing, guarding the ball, we talk about being flat and backside to the basket. Closest hand to the split line is digging at the ball. Why we want to do that? We want to force the ball to the sideline. Sideline's our friend, all right? They get the ball to the sideline, violation, turn it over. So we want to force the ball to the outside hip and to the sidelines. We still want to keep our backside to the basket and square. So that hand is making them get the ball on their outside hip. So you're pushing that. To start with, we'll go denial. So you want to be up the lane on his low shoulder, one hand and flat palm in the passing lane, one lane denial. You're playing flat. So we're talking about you presenting a crowd to the ball. So how you present a crowd to the ball, this way is skinny, this way show your number and you're taking up more space, all right? Bigger chest to the ball than you are with just your shoulder. He can drive through there. If he sees that, he's seeing more space, okay? You're straddling the block, okay? So you're in here on their low shoulder and you're pointing ball and your player right there. So right now you're the low spot. You're calling high. What are you gonna call? Ball. Ball, deny. Okay, so now ball goes. There, hold there. So square off backside to the basket. We're not gonna, we want them to reverse the ball. Why is that? Any reasons why? Eat up time on the shot clock. All right, we deny this and they back up and they get a layup that's not eating time on the shot clock. We want to encourage the ball to go around the perimeter, not to go through the keyway. So we don't deny, we only deny the wing pass. All right, so your flat open stance, present a crowd chest to the ball. So right on that elbow spot. Make the pass there, 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 right there. You've got to jump from ball stance back to denial. Ball goes there, there, ball pressure. Yep, good, hand to the split line. Deny on their inside. Now I want it to go back there again. There, jump to the ball. Receiver, back to there. Ball to there. Jump in, flat stance. No, flat stance, yep. Be on his base, uh, inside shoulder. Backside to the basket more. Hand closest to the split line, dig at it. Make him force it, go to the baseline. Ball go back there. So we've got two passes. So the ball's gonna start at the top. So out, back, out, back, out, back. I need to hear ball, deny, high, low. And then when you change position on each pass, you need to talk. So you need to change from ball to deny, ball to help, whatever you got it. Here you go, lots of talk, low stance, go. Talk it, square it off, go, shift it. Good, shift it, jump to the ball. Hold there, hold there, stop, stop, stop. You got two passes back. All right, I wanna shift the ball twice. So when he passes it to you, pass it back. Go to you there twice, okay? Ready, here you go, energy and talk. Hand pressure, hand pressure, square it off. Go up, up, ball pressure. Good, done, done. Some things you need to be better at. Uh, ball starts here. So we want them to chew time, but we don't want them to be able to pick off passes and where they want the ball to go. So everyone, while you're on the ball, they got it. I'm trying to force it to their outside, but now I'm mirroring the ball. Okay, I'm not lunging at it, but I want ball pressure. I don't want to just be able to pick off where they can pass the ball. So on each catch, climb into it, okay? Ready, here you go. Hand, square it off, backside to the basket. Ball pressure, good, jump to the ball. Jump in, good, keep going, go from there, good. Here, good, jump to the ball, hands, hands. Hold there, hold there, stop, 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 stop. Ball's there, you're on it. You're plugging. Now you need to be down here on the lane line, all right? So you're one, two passes away. You got time to get that on the skip pass, 
All right, so right now you've got to be helping that if he cuts or he cuts, you're protecting the basket right now. Go. There, there and back, back. Good. So good, defense, hold there. Hold there, defense, oh, stop, stop, stop. Hold up, defense, go to offense. New group in. New group comes in on defense. So ball pressure on the ball. There, so changing stance. Ready, go, talk. Stop, 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 stop. No ball pressure. We're gonna be up and in. All right, we gotta be into him and not allow him to make the pass. So I'm here, I'm up. I'm making him pivot. We want the offense, you're guarding me. We want the offense to go from this to be a non-threat and go on their back pivot foot, okay? If they stand here and can pick off and shoot it or drive it, we haven't got enough pressure on the ball. We want them to be able to, you to come up and into me, and I have to pivot away from the basket to protect the ball. So it means to be maximum ball pressure on it. Ready? Go, get up, get up, 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 into the ball. Hands, shift it back twice. Go, go again, good, good, jump to the ball. Jump, good, pressure it, good, now hold there. That's exactly where we want the ball. Force a wide catch. Force a wide catch away from the basket. Force a wide catch away from the basket. Last rotation. New defense. So think about ball pressure and positioning start on the three point line. So they're right there, you're in denial. You're in ball pressure, yep. Yep, on the block, now you're right, just one step above, exactly it. Head on a swivel, hands up, ready, pressure it, go. Good, pressure it, good, good, get open. Good, skip it, skip it, skip it. Close out, hands, hands, good. Shift it back, good. Now what is this, what does it make you do now offensively with better ball pressure? What does it make the offense do? Have to make better leads. So now you have to make better leads on offense to get the ball. Good, jump to the ball. Ah, hold there, hold there. Remember, we're, we're jumping in there. We're not gonna deny it back. We want them to reverse the ball. So while ball's here, you're up and in, you were right as you are, ball goes, jump to the ball. So jump in there and protect that. So right now, you're low, you're high. We've got protection that if he drives baseline, you're ready to help. Okay, so if you get beaten, just walk through. You're come to help. Yep, you're rotating, uh, hold there. You're gonna rotate down, okay, to cover his man. So that's why we need low help protection. We need high help right there, come back again. You need to be at that elbow spot. Why? He drives middle, you can hedge and recover and help. All right, now you got a job to cut him off. Okay, so if ever he gets beaten baseline or middle, you still got to try and cut off the ball. All right, you got help here, you can hedge and recover. You got help low that you can hedge and recover. All right, sit it back. Now, anytime it gets to you or to you, you can drive baseline or middle to score. Offensively though, I know we're talking defense, offense, what spots are you getting to when they drive baseline or middle? Defense. Offense, which spots are you getting to when they drive baseline? Drift and, dr yep, drift and diagonal, yep. Defense, even get a stop. Goes to the wings, drive baseline or middle. Ready, go, talk. Drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it. Look to drive, kick it there, drive it. Good, stay. Box, good. Now bring it back to here, talking about rotation. Ball's here. Our rules, if you don't see both of his feet and his shoulders and his number, if you don't see that, you stay with your man. So that means he's doing a good enough job keeping the ball in front so he doesn't need any help, okay? But if he gets blown by and you can see his number, you gotta go and rotate and you gotta call rotate because you're taking his man. Rotate means you're rotating down, you gotta rotate and play too. You're beaten, you got to fly opposite the ball. Okay, opposite high. Okay, ready? One more possession. So get it to wing, get it to wing and drive. Okay, Pat. Here you go. Go. Drive it, drive it. Hold there, hold there. Go back, go back, go back. So you got to shift as the ball shifts. So you got to be jumping to the ball. So the ball started there. Yep. So you're on the lane line right now. Okay, you're up. Plug in right there. Ball goes. 
Hold right there. Your job is to protect the basket. Okay? You're the man in charge of no one scoring on here. All right? So as soon as he gets in a threatening position, in a driving position, so what I talk about, you lift the ball above your head, what's he more likely to do? What position is that? Pass. So I can cheat back. Yep. He puts it down in a driving position on his hip. What's he looking to do? Drive. He's not going to shoot it from that, is he? He'd be a pretty good shooter if he could shoot from his hip, couldn't he? So he's ready to drive. So I'm ready for his drive. So I need to be ready to rotate, okay? You see his numbers come at you, you're calling rotate and you got the ball, okay? You got to drop down. Ready? We're going to play from there. You're in that position. Try and drive baseline or middle. Ready? Here you go. Good, good. Stay, stay. Good. Close out. Play. Drive it. Move it. Kick it. Kick it back. Drive it. Drive it. Low. Good. Good. Get it. Good. Rotate. One more possession. Get rotations in. New group. Quick. Let's run in. Let's go. So same thing. It gets to those two wings. Drive to score. Come up a little bit higher. So you're plugging in there. Deny. One pass away. Deny. Lane line. Ready? Go. Jump to the ball. Jump to the ball. Jump to the ball. Good. Drive it. Drive it. Good. Stay. Hands. Good. Good block out. Now in a perfect world, bring the ball up here. In a perfect world, we drive. So you're driving middle or baseline. If I drive here, you're just hedging and recovering back. So you're one step to the ball. So if I'm playing your spot and he drives, I'm one step to the ball and I'm one back to see if he picks up the ball. You guys are in the same. One step and come back. Because if they're not beaten, you need to close out to your players and you're staying with your man-to-man -man rules. It's only when you're beaten that we need to rotate. All right, uh, last possession. Come up a little bit higher. So don't deny that back to the wing. Yep, go. So jump to the ball, jump to the ball. Good, jump in there, jump in there. Good, reverse it, reverse it. Good, ball pressure. Good, ball deny, rip, go. Drive it, drive it, drive, drive. Good, stay, stay matched up. 10, nine, box. Good block out, play, box. Good block out, all right, uh, change over. Group at the top, and on defense, we still got D. So now in dribble penetration, so now we make the pass, another reason, so make that pass. Right there. Now, I'll come back again, you got, come back here. You got ball pressure, you're up high. Closer, closer, yep, you're in deny. So that pass goes. You gotta beat the ball to that spot right there before he catches it. All right, one is to stop the drive. The second one, you play back into here. All right, and he wants to cut. All right, you gotta check him and he's gotta go that way. He's not allowed to go the basket side. If you stay here and deny, so I've made the pass here, there, and you deny me back, I'm just going straight back here. I'm gonna get it and more than likely dunk it. It's not tonight because it's a bit too warm, okay? Maybe later. So that's another reason. So we make that pass here. You gotta move on the fly to the ball. There, get there quickly. Now we want you to make a cut. So cut to score. Now, hold there. Come back. Anytime a player makes a cut, we need to check it and force it ball side. We don't want to let him go basket side. We want to force him ball side and out. So you follow him through. You're gone, you lift, there, up, you lift, there, and up, there, pass it, there, pass it, there, now you cut, so you're gonna jump, ball side. Nah, uh, yep, now I know we're walking through it. You're gonna get to that elbow spot and make sure she goes wide, all right? Now then you'll lift and you'll lift and we'll go through that. All right, so it's, go, it's from the beginning over this side. So defending pass and cuts, number one thing, beat the ball to the spot, number two, Bump the cutter on the way through, making sure they're going ball side, they're not getting in between you and the basket. Up here, you gotta get open, you got it. Ball pressure, up, up, good, good. Jump to the ball, good, force him wide, good. Ball pressure, good, jump to the ball, force him, up. good. There, there. Good hands, done, kaput. All right, bring it in, come in. So some things, 
there's some things you need to do is like when you're disciplined staying out there on drift and drag spots you're going to get open shots all right sometimes people just want to like cut in there all the time and like get layups if someone's driving in there they want space to be able to go score so you've got to have the discipline to keep your floor spacing to get open shots then when they start to close out then you can put it on the floor and drive okay but just think about getting to those floor spots think about your positioning off the ball on defense all right good job yeah. Aussie on three. One, two, three. Aussie. Aussie. <laughs>